Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2016 BMW 4 Series and today we're going to show you how to install our version 2 of our kit for these particular cars. As you can see it's paired wirelessly to our iPhone right now. It would also support wireless Android Auto. Now has better improved uh, image quality and better sound compared to the version 1 of our kit. It uses original microphone for Siri which you can activate by holding uh, the hang up button on your car as you can see. To switch back to the original system you just have to press and hold the back button and it comes back to original BMW system. You will not lose any features of the original system. The rear view camera will still work the same way. You only get extra features and you have to worry about losing any of them. And now we're going to show you how to install it in this particular car. So the tools that you're going to need is a T20 on a screwdriver, another T20 with an extension that way we can make it smaller when we put it with a ratchet and we'll show you why. Then you're going to need an extension with a 10 millimeter socket, this is it, and then also a T30 so we can also use it over there. And then we have our panel removal tool and the hook tool. So first thing we're going to do is remove this uh, vent panel above uh, the controls and above the glove box. So we're going to start with this corner with our panel removal tool. We're going to open the door slightly and get underneath here and just go clip by clip towards the driver. And then you can use your hand, both of your hands to gently wiggle it out. And then there's going to be two connections at the back. So one, you just simply pull on it. And then the second one goes to the switch, but it's very hard to pull it out because the clip is at the bottom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on the switch and actually remove the switch. And over here you have the clip and you will disconnect it. Next, we're gonna use the same panel removal tool and get underneath here to drop this panel. And it just has these two clips. And you can see, we can just leave it here. So now, as you can see, we have four bolts here. So one and two, and over here, the same thing. And then we're also gonna be removing the two bolts underneath the display. So now we can remove this control panel for HVAC and the stereo. Over here, there is a connection it has no clip so you just kind of pull it away straight and it will come off. Next there's the actual head unit here so again it has four bolts the same T20 so we're gonna remove them so now we're gonna start removing the glove box and first we're gonna use our T20 with a short extension like we mentioned earlier because we need to get underneath here. There's four bolts, so there's one here, there's second, third, and fourth, and we're gonna go ahead and remove them. So now we're gonna remove this panel on the side, and to do that we're gonna just uh, peel this weather stripping to the side, and then we're gonna use our panel removal tool to get underneath a little bit more of the stripping to remove. And now we're gonna use our T20 and you're gonna see here a bolt and that's the one we're gonna remove. So now we're going underneath the glove box and using our 10 millimeter with an extension. So there's one nut right here and then the second one right over here which we're gonna go ahead and remove. And they look like this. Now we can drop this uh, panel underneath the glove box. You can use your hands and then there's this uh, connector for the light for the footwell light. Now we're gonna use our T30 and we're gonna undo these two bolts which hold, hold this airbag. So we're gonna unscrew them and gently lower it on the floor. We're not actually gonna disconnect it. And when you're doing the second bolt, it's best to use your other hand to hold the airbag so it just doesn't fall. And you can just leave it like that. So now underneath the glove box, there's four more bolts to remove. So there's one right here and it's again T20. Another one right here. And then 
one more here and the last one right here so we're gonna remove them so at this point we can remove the glove box and we're not gonna fully disconnect it we're just gonna drop it down and we did all of this so we can feed our wires through from the back of the stereo so at this point we're going to start making all our connections and to do that we're going to remove the actual head unit we suggest to use some sort of a rag or microfiber cloth like we have that way you can rest the radio on it and it will not scratch the rest of the interior so we will show you what you will get in your kit and what we're going to now wire in so inside your kit you're going to have the main module with uh, some dip switches at the back then this is the quad lock harness which we're gonna connect at the back of the stereo and then feed one of the wires here to the back of the glove box then we have a video cable that will go up to the display we're also gonna wire usb into the glove box and then you have a santana for wireless apple carplay and android auto which we also will hide behind the glove box so first we're gonna remove the original display and because we removed the two bolts it will just lift up then we're gonna turn it around and at the back here there is a connection which you have to press on the clip on the side and now we're gonna take this original cable and feed it down we're gonna remove it next we're gonna take the video cable that comes with our kit it has the blue ends on each side and we're gonna take the one that is uh, this has this 90 degree angle connection we will feed it up instead of the original cable i'm gonna connect it to the same hole we will take our display again and connect it at the back of the display so it clips in and then you can put the display back here you go so now you have this cable this cable we will run behind here because we need it at the back of the glove box and right away we will take our module and we will connect it to the lvds out port right here we will take the original connection from the back of the stereo we will feed it also to the back here and we will be connecting it to the LVDS in but right now it's kind of short so we're gonna do one more before we put this back so we're gonna take the the quad lock that came with our kit and we will replace the original one so over here you're just gonna unhook this clip and remove the quad lock and this car is equipped with a fiber optic cable as you can see here these two small things so we're gonna unclip it right here and move that fiber optic onto our harness we're gonna use our hook tool so just gonna lift it up and pull it out we'll take our harness so if you don't transfer this over you will not have sound in your entire sound system that's it we have it done we will take the original quad lock and plug it in to our female end of our harness and lock it in place and then we'll take our harness and plug it into the back of the original stereo so you have to insert it with the clip open you have to insert it almost all the way in and only then you need to lock it in place otherwise it will not make a good connection and nothing will power on and so now this is uh, the harness cable that goes from our quad locks and we will take it and run it from the back as we need it also behind the glove box and we will plug it in here so now that we made these connections we can start putting the head unit back and because i showed you this lvds cable or the video cable before and it's kind of short so we're gonna be pulling on this cable along when we're putting this radio back so we have it with extra length at the back 
and then we're also gonna try to guide this quad lock so it drops right there that way the radio will go into place and will not stick out so the radio is in as you can see now the cable for LVDS in is long enough and we will plug it in here here we go also when you're putting this back you gotta make sure not to jam this wire behind because sometimes you can jam it in then you're not gonna be able to connect everything back and same here you should have two cables hanging out so total three next is this uh, USB connection which we discussed earlier which will go inside the glove box so we're gonna open the glove box as you can gonna see here there's this plug which you can just use your fingers and remove it and that way you don't have to drill any holes if you don't have such a plug then you would have to drill a hole to feed the wire through but most of these cars we've seen they have it so shouldn't be an issue so once you have it at the back of the glove box we will now plug it into this USB marked connection. And the last thing to connect to our module would be this Wi Fi antenna. So it has this double side tape on it. So, in this particular car, we'll feed it underneath here. And we cleaned off the surface here above the vents. So, the vents, when they go back, they actually go in. So, this spot right here is good for it. So, we're gonna peel off the tape and we're gonna stick the antenna there. Like I said, make sure to clean up the area before sticking it. Now we will take the other end and we will just plug it in here where it says Wi-Fi. And at this point everything is connected. So there's two settings for the dip switches. It's either for a small screen or a big screen. So this car, as you can see, has a bigger screen. So for this particular car, number five has to be on. The only other variation that this car might have is the smaller screen, so then you would have all the switches off. So number five is on. So a good spot in this particular car to hide the module would be behind it here. As you can see, that's where ours is. You can uh, use some zip ties to tie it up to this metal bracket so it doesn't move around. And there's enough space to hide all the wires and everything. So now we're going to put the glove box back. And you're gonna make sure that it lines up with all the alignment points. So the two alignment points are at the bottom. There's one right here which goes inside this metal bracket. And the second one is right there. So the glove box has to sit on them. That way all the mounting points will line up and you'll be able to put the screws and bolts back. Before tightening everything, we're just gonna run a quick test to make sure that everything is working. So for that, you will need to connect this panel back then we connected a uh, use, USB cable that converts into lightning. So this is just for testing. In the future is going to be, of course, we're going to pair it wirelessly, but for the test is good enough to connect it by wire. We're going to turn on your original stereo. So you got to make sure that everything works as original. And we're going to choose external devices for sound source and then we're going to choose auxiliary so this is the source that you got to use if you want to hear sound from apple carplay or android auto and now to switch to the extra mode which you didn't have before we're going to press and hold the back button and as you can see now we're in carplay because we connected our iphone and what you got to do is just make sure that the display is showing correctly and then just check the sound so we're gonna play something something that plays sound so as you can hear the music is playing that makes that tells us that everything is connected properly so we're gonna be assembling everything back so first we're gonna put the four bolts back At this point we can put the airbag back so you gotta make sure that where it sticks out with these two metal studs that it goes towards uh, the front of the car not towards you because you can put it both ways so like that and we'll take the original two bolts and 
put them in their place. Next is this panel, so we're gonna connect the light back. So it has to clip in place and also it has to line up right here. Also, now the next would be to put the bolt back right here. This bolt is different than all the other ones, so 90% of them look like this, so you can change them in different uh, places, but this one in particular has a bigger thread. So when you're putting it back, make sure you put the correct bolt back. Next is this side panel. So clips in place. Next we're gonna put the weather stripping back. And then we have these two 10 millimeter nuts that have to go back. And the second one right there. And now we need to put the four bolts inside the actual glove box. So here we're gonna put six bolts back. So four over here and two underneath the display. So we're gonna connect this panel back again and now it has four bolts that hold it in place which we're going to put back now we can clip this panel back now we're going to put this one back so we're going to connect this connection and then the one for the lights for the hazard switch we're first going to feed this wire through so we have enough length. We're gonna take our hazard switch, connect it. I'm gonna push it in. And now we're gonna push this in. So you gotta make sure that there's no gap on top. Here you go. And now the installation is complete. So again, this was a video inside a 2016 BMW 4 Series. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.